Hey, what's up guys? It's Liv. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be switching it up a little bit. I have some ingredients behind me and I'm going to be recreating some of my favorite childhood meals that bring me nostalgia. You can call them struggle meals if you will. These are my own personal experiences. I'm not speaking for anybody else. But yeah, let's get right into the video. I will make these. We're gonna review them and then we're gonna try them out. See if we still like them. All right guys, I will see you with the food done. Alrighty, bitches and gentlemen, so today we have two wieners. I'm going to be boiling said weenies inside of this water. Is it just me or is it getting hot in here? Look at these weenies boiling. If you look at my dirty ass stove, I swear to God I will find your IP address. <laughs> just kidding. Now we have some mac and cheese boiling here. Holy fuck, my sweater has a lot of cat hair. Oh shit, she's Italian. We're whipping out the Chef Boyardee, okay? Beefaroni, oh. Now we have one of the wieners made into a makeshift hot dog. <laughs> Can you say delicioso? <laughs> oh wow, okay, we've got salt and parma. Okay, we're making the butter noodles, adding our ingredients, yum. Okay, we got some whipped butter. Mixing all that in, make a little yummy treat. This literally looks like military rations, what the fuck? Okay, and then you're gonna put this in the microwave, now you got nachos. We're ending off strong with beefaroni! Alrighty guys, so the first thing I'm going to be trying is microwave nachos. My mom used to make these for us all the time if we wanted a quick snack. You just put cheese on top of chips, you can put some sour cream, Hot sauce, you could spice it up however you want, honestly. I haven't had these in a hot minute. Let's see if they're as good as I remember. It's not bad. It tastes pretty good. I'm honestly, I'll give this one a 6.5 out of 10. It's not that it's bad or anything, it's just that it's kind of bland. It's definitely better than whatever the fuck you're eating at your high school football game. So for that, it gets extra points. We'll make this a 7.5 out of 10 just for that. I like it, next. Alrighty, so for our next dish, we have a piece of bread, mayonnaise, ketchup, and we have a cheese stuffed hot dog. These were my favorites whenever I was growing up. I don't like hot dogs anymore. I don't know, just thinking about what they're made of kind of gives me the ick a little bit, which is fine, like if you like them, I'm just saying me personally. But yeah, my stepdad famously said that you can make anything you want with a piece of bread. So let's go ahead and try it. Oh, oh, um, uh-uh, hey, mm-mm, I'm gonna give that a, a two out of ten. Oh, God. No, 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 I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend it. I don't know if it's because I'm older and, like, my taste buds are changing, but that shit is ass. That shit tastes like a fucking buttered asshole. That is not good at all. 10 out of 10 would not recommend if you feed that to your child. I can understand a child liking that. So for that, I will give myself some leniency. However, as an adult, no babes, it's a no for me. That, that shit was nasty. Okay, so for the next meal I have prepared today, this is going to be Velveeta macaroni and cheese. One of the best macaroni and cheeses next to the spirals. And I put the same hot dogs inside of the bowl. And we had this a lot. It was kind of a staple, you know? Okay, let's go. Oh God. Mm -mm. No, no, oh my God. Guys, this one kind of breaks my heart a little bit because I really do love Velveeta macaroni and cheese or loved, it tastes bad. It tastes really fucking bad. Oh my God, it tastes bad. I'm going to give that a 4.5 out of 10. That tastes like if cheese was somehow turned into a powder and then sprinkled on top of it, 
And, and it's not a powdered cheese. That's the thing about Velveeta, is it's not a powdered wow. cheese. It's a creamy cheese. Why does it taste like I'm chewing on chalk? What is that about? Kraft? No, Velveeta? What is that about? I don't fucking like the hot dogs. I cannot stand the hot dogs. But that's just my own personal preference. Like I said, again, I can understand a child fucking this up. I can understand a child seeing this go, oh my God. As an adult, no, makes me want to yak. Makes me want to fucking yak. Oh my god, no. No guys, no. <laughs> I don't know and it's not like I'm the mac and cheese connoisseur or anything like that. And if you like Velveeta, I'm not dissing on you, okay? But it's just not good anymore. It's not good anymore. Damn. Damn. Next. Okay, so this meal was my absolute favorite growing up so if you make fun of it in the comment section i have your ip address <laughs> no <laughs> this is butter noodles so we have some penne pasta butter salt and parmesan and we used to eat this religiously and i remember it being really good but let's find out let's get a good bite in there eh? It's not bad. It's actually not bad at all. Okay. Mmm. So good and tasty. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not bad. I'm going to give this one a 8 out of 10. Honestly, I'd feed this to my children, to my animals. I would feed this to my parents. This is exquisite. This is a five star meal. Honestly, if I had to say, this beats Olive Garden. And I know that's not pretty fucking hard because they're fake Italians. Yeah, yeah. Olive Garden, hey, hey, hey. What the fuck? You are a disgrace to Italy. <laughs> You're a disgrace to Italy also, me. Oh yeah. <laughs> that shit's fire. I like that. Do some butter noodles. Next. So when I was conjuring up some ideas for this video, I did ask my parents for some help so that I could get a little bit more of an idea of what I used to eat. And they said that I fucked up some beefaroni, that it was one of my favorites. That's what this is called, right? Yeah, beefaroni. Apparently it was my shit. Okay, let's see. Oh my God, oh my God. You know what it, you know what it fucking tastes like? It tastes like when you bite the side of your mouth and you have blood like filling up in your mouth. That's what that tastes like. That tastes like if I was to boil pennies and use the water to make that pasta. Oh, that's not good. Oh my God, that's not good at all. No, no. I wouldn't recommend that at all. No, no. That's honestly fucking disappointing because of how much they hyped it up for me. I'm gonna give that a one out of 10 and also I'm taking applications for new parents because mine are liars. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, I guess, like I said, I can understand liking it as a child, but now that shit is foul. That tasted like if I was to suck on a tampon. I'm sorry for being vulgar. But that's exactly what it tasted like. It just tasted like straight iron. It was not good. I didn't like it at all. If anybody wants some beefaroni, I will be doing a giveaway. Comment your name below. <laughs> Mailing it to you open. <laughs> a package may be wet when it arrives. My cat is fucking up that hot dog. She's licking it behind the scenes. You can't see it, but she's doing it. She stopped eating it. She only licked the ketchup off the hot dog. She licked only the ketchup off the hot dog. If that tells you anything, <laughs> don't eat those hot dogs. <laughs> oh my God. She literally just licked off all of the ketchup. What the fuck? It's gonna be a no for me for the beefaroni. I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. What the hell? Alrighty guys, I'm gonna call it there. I hope you liked watching my video today I know it's gonna be a little bit more of a short one, but I will be back next week with another banger for you I love you guys so much and comment some of your favorite meals growing up and maybe I will remake yours Who knows maybe possibly 
Make sure to like and subscribe for more. I love you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye! Can you come back to me? Cause I was